In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the load. So what we need to do is click on a map setup here. We have a couple of options there. But what we need to do is look at a schematic. And if you look at a schematic, you can see we connected to TPS, MAF and MAP. And MAP looks like uh, the logical one to use because if you use this one, the unit ship will know when the vehicle is in boost and when it's in vacuum and the amount of boost. So here yeah, I highlighted the map sensor and if you look at it you can see that this is where the map sensor will be, that's the factory map sensor. It will generate a signal based on burst and that signal will go into the unit chip on pin 11 and out of the unit chip on pin 23 back to, the, back to the ECU so it's pretty easy. But here's where it gets a little bit tricky, pin 11 and pin 23 if you look at the pin functions, let me zoom in here. Pin 11 and 23, we connected to the map sensor on the factory vehicle, but here it says TPS. So what you need to do is just make a mental, mental note that uh, pin 11 and pin 23 is really not the TPS, but the map sensor. So to set it up, we need to have the vehicle idling, and whatever value is displayed here, we will just type in here. I'm going to keep it at 0.47 volts. And then what we need to do is go to the maximum amount of boost that we want, and the maximum amount of boost we will put in the values here. I'm just going to leave it at 4.35. And then we need to say, okay, look up load on. We have a couple of options. We know that we connect it to the map sensor. And the map sensor is really um, the TPS. It's just labeled TPS, so we can um, just select TPS. I can click on OK. I go to the fuel. Click on map setup there and I need to make sure that's set up to TPS but the TPS we know is connected to the map sensor so we go to the TPS map we click on the map setup and we make sure it's set to TPS which we know by now is connected to the map sensor we can click OK and then I'll see you in the next video